Welcome back for another Elder Scrolls cookbook cooking video. Today I'm going to be making the coastal clam chowder from the Elder Scrolls cookbook. The ingredients that we're going to need are two medium to large sized russet potatoes that have been peeled and then just simply cubed up. I've got mine sitting in water just to prevent them from turning brown while I got the rest of my ingredients together. You're also going to need one leek, the white and light green parts of them sliced up, one 10 ounce can of baby clams in their juice, a fourth of a pound of bacon that I've diced up, two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of flour, one cup of whole milk, two cups of fish stock if you can find it. I was not able to and I didn't have time to make my own. So I'm substituting it with two cups of a mild flavored vegetable broth as well as two to four cups of water. And we also need one teaspoon of our imperial seasoning. And I will leave the recipe to the imp imperial seasoning mix down in the description box below. So to get started, the first thing I need to do is drain off my potatoes and move you guys over to the stove. So I will see you over there. Alright guys, I have you moved over to my stove and I've already turned my pot on. And the first thing that we are going to do is simply start layering our ingredients into the pot. And I'm going to start with the bacon. And I want to just spread this all across the bottom. I'm not going to be browning it. I'm just laying it in. There we go. Next thing I'm going to add in is all of my potatoes. And then I'll spread those over. Next in go our leeks. Our baby clams with the juice. as well as the one teaspoon of our imperial seasoning. And I'm just going to sprinkle that over the clams and vegetables. Next thing I'm going to add in is my vegetable broth. The last thing I'm going to do is add just enough water to cover all the ingredients in the pot. Make sure you get your extra seasoning off. And I think that actually looks pretty good. I still have about a cup of water in there and there was four to start so I've used three cups of water. And now I'm just going to cover this and let it simmer for 30 minutes. And I will bring you guys back a little bit before the 30 minutes so that we can make the roux that we're going to use to help thicken this up. All 
Hi guys, I have moved you over to the other side of the stove so you can see what I'm doing in this pot. And I'm just going to be making a simple roux that we're going to be adding into our clam chowder once it, the potatoes are completely tender. As you can see, it's coming along nicely. The potatoes are almost to where they need to be, but everything else has started to cook down. And I'm just going to put the lid back on it until we are ready to add our roux in. Now over here all I've done is melt my butter down and I'm just going to add in my two tablespoons of flour and cook it until the raw flour taste has come out of it for about, I don't know, a minute or so. It doesn't take very long but you do want to take the time to do this step and let it cook out. I've also got some bacon browning on the back burner there that we're going to use as a garnish on top of our bowl of soup. Now you don't want to let this go for too long because the longer you cook your roux, the less thickening power it has. So I'm just going to actually let this go for about a minute. That's just enough time to allow that raw flour taste to cook out and still give us the thickening power that we're going to need for the amount of liquid we have in our soup. While I'm doing this, I would like to remind you of the Gamers and Geeks playlist that Jupica Death and I have going on in our channels. If you would like to be a part of that, it's really simple. All you have to do is go out and make a cooking video and then post it to your channel. And once you've done that, let either JPEG or I know, either in the comment section of our latest cooking videos, or if you are a part of our Discord servers, you can let us know over there as well. And we will be more than happy to go over to your channel and check out your video and get it added to the playlist. Remember, this is a community-driven playlist. It is made up of videos by you, our, our friends and YouTube family. You guys are what fuels the videos that go on that list. So if you've got an idea in mind, get out there and make that cooking video and we'll be more than happy to get it added to the playlist. Alright guys, so this has been going for about a minute now. And I'm going to go ahead and add in my one cup of uh, whole milk. And you want to make sure you stir this really well so that you don't have any lumps. And I'm just going to cook this until it starts to thicken up. Make sure you scrape your sides. And this won't take very long at all to come together. Alright guys, this has been going for about four minutes now. And it's started to thicken up nicely. And I I think we are about ready to add it into the pot. So let's go over and check our potatoes and make sure that they are tender enough for us to add this in. And I'm going to go ahead and turn my heat off. Alright guys, let's go ahead and check our potatoes. And we're just looking for a nice tender potato. Goes right, the fork goes right in and splits the potato right in half, just like we want it to. So we are ready to add in our roux. just going to go ahead and dump in the whole amount. And we're just going to give this a stir. And then I'm going to lower my heat down to simmer. And I'm going to let this simmer for 5 to 10 more minutes just until our soup thickens up. So I will bring you guys back once this is totally done. 
and we've got it all plated up and we'll give it a, a little taste and see what we think about it. Alright guys, our coastal clam chowder is all plated up and I've simply garnished it with a little bit of uh, fried bacon as well as some green onion and I'm pairing it with a jalapeno cheddar bread that I made earlier today. So let's get in here, give it a taste, see what we think about it. Now I have to tell you guys, I am not the biggest fan of clam chowder. So let's get in here and see if, if I like this one. Mm. This is actually very good. I think I really like it using the vegetable broth. It's not overly fishy. It's just a very subtle hint from the clams themselves, almost more of a, a potato chowder than an actual clam. So I think if I do make this again, I will definitely try and make it with the fish broth and see if I like it any better. All right, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, leave me a comment down below. If you guys tried this recipe out, let me know how it turned out for you. Remember to check out the Gamers and Geeks playlist as well as my Elder Scrolls cookbook playlist. I will leave links down in the description to them as well as a link to the jalapeno bread that I made. But for now, thank you so very much for joining me today. I've been Ball Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope I see you in the next one.